Hello, how are you today? Hello, teacher. Yes. Hi, great to see you. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, we are three already. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. How are you? Good evening, guys. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Excellent. Hi, hi, Salvador. Hello, Rene. How are you? Nice to see you, eh? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, hello. Diego is coming. Hi, Diego. Hi. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Fine. What about you? Great. I'm doing great. Great, great. Well, okay. we're ready. Cloud is coming. Nice. Hi, guys. Hi, hi. Hi there. Let's see. Estamos a un día, chicos. Un día. So you can say we are champions, right? One day and you finish first motto. Los inicios son los que cuestan una vez. Van. Están ahí. Ahí vamos. Lo que cuesta es empezar a arrancar siempre. Todo el, el, el inicio es el que más cuesta. Una vez empezamos hay que seguir adelante hasta el fin. Ok. Vamos a ver, Claudia, tell me present. Present, teacher. Excelente. Te amo. Claudia Xiomara. Claudia Xiomara. Daniel. Daniel. No. Daisy Mesquita. Daisy Yesenia. Daisy. Diego Armando. Present teacher. Excellent. Jonathan. Jose Ernesto. Marielena. Marielena. Marlon. Nelson Alberto. Rafael. Present. Sí. Rina Aura. Rina. Salvador. Present teacher. Zulma Lorena. Zulma. And René. Present. Okay, great. We are six right now, right? Okay. Well, ¿cómo estuvo su día? Fine, fine. Kind of busy. Kind of busy. Yeah. We're getting to the... A bit busy, but okay. Excellent. But we're getting to the, to the weekend again. <laughs> Hi, Renaura. How are you? Hello. Hello. Hi, baby. <laughs> okay, nice to see you. Well, I'm going to start sharing the presentation. 19, right? Okay, perfect. Check. We're going to make a review of what we were talking about yesterday. And we have been talking about prepositions, right? Prepositions in, on, next to, between, and behind, right? In, on, at. Do you remember the prepositions in, on, at? Yes. Okay. Yes, I remember. Okay, perfect. When do we use in? 
when do we use in? Cuando está dentro. Ajá. When do we use on? Sobre. Okay. When do we use at? At. ¿De acuerdo? Pero es algo más preciso, un lugar en concreto. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, so you say at. If I say the office, she's at the office. Mm -hmm. She's at the dentist, right? At the university, at home, we use at. Okay? Okay, let's see here, next to, right? Next to, the dishes are next to the, the food, we can say. Where is the star? The star is? Behind the backpack. Behind the backpack. Okay. Where is the box? Where is the box? The box is next to the book. The book. It's next to, to the book. to the left. Mm. On the left. Okay, on the left. Very good. Where is the book? The book is between the box okay. and the camera. Exactly, between bo the box and the camera. Very good. Okay, now look at these pictures. We're talking about location, right? What place is this? Can you recognize this place? What place is this? It's a... Cafeteria. It's a cafeteria, okay. So we can say a cafeteria or a restaurant, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about the restaurant? Where is it? Where is it? Look at the whole picture. Where there are many restaurant? chairs. Okay, there are many chairs in the restaurant. Okay. What else? There are many lamps. Mm -hmm. How many lamps do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh -huh. The ones that we can see there, right? Simple. Uh -huh. Okay, so there are seven lamps. Okay, there are many chairs, so we can say a lot of chairs. What else? There is a window. There is a big window, yes. Uh -huh. There is a big window. Mm -hmm. There are people. There are a lot of people, yes. Okay, no pandemia time here, right? <laughs> there is no okay. Uh -huh. Teacher, when we are talking about people, people. Uh, wishes that the current weight there are. There is or there are. There are. There are. There are. Yeah, there are a lot of people. Uh, the singular is person and the plural is people. So you say person, people. There is a person, there are a lot of people. There are some people. Here you can say there are four we are people. Talking about people, we're talking about two persons or more. Uh huh, exactly. exactly. Okay. For example, here, I will say there is a boy, right? There is a boy and there are three girls. There is a boy, mm -hmm. I imagine this is a boy, right? So there is a boy and there are two girls in the picture. Mm -hmm. How many pillows or, or cushions do you see on the coach by the window? There are, there are four, there are four cushions. Mm -hmm. Or five, probably mm. five. Oh, sure. Cushions, yeah. There are five. What? Cushions? Cushions are cojines. Cojines. And pillows? Almohadas. Almohada, pillows, cushion is cojines. Yeah, cushion is cojines oh. for the sofa. Right? On the sofa, you have a cushion. On the bed, you have a pillow. Pillow. And how, how do you spell cushion? C U S H 
I O N S. <coughs> and it's pronounced cushion. Cushions. 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 Mm -hmm. Cushion. Oh, all right. That's a new word for me. Those are cojines, right? Los cojines. La almohada. La almohada for the bed and the cushions for the sofa. Mm -hmm. And you see, okay. you say there is a sofa by the window. By. No decimos in front of the window ni next to the window, sino que by the window. Por la ventana. ¿Dónde está el soft? Por la ventana. So it is by the window. Yes? By the window. It is by the window. Mm -hmm. Now, wh what do you see here? <clears throat> what do you see here? This is a... There is a park. Uh -huh. There is a park near the bus station, right? Or the bus stop. Mm -hmm. Este es bus mm -hmm. stop. Bus station es como el, el punto. La terminal. Ajá, la terminal, exacto. Y bus stop mm -hmm. es la parada de buses, right? Mm -hmm. Es la parada de buses. Entonces vamos a decir bus stop. The bus stop. Bus stop. The bus stop. So there is a park near the bus stop, right? ¿Qué más vemos acá? There are some buildings. Buildings. Mm -hmm. There are some buildings near the bus stop, right? There are some buildings near the bus stop. Very good. And you can say the bus stop is next to the restaurant, right? The bus stop is next to the restaurant. Okay, bus stop. Any question here? No question. No question. Okay, great. Now, look at this picture. <clears throat> we have a laptop computer, a cup of coffee, a notebook with a pen, and two presents. Okay, what sentences can we make here? Okay, the, uh, there is a laptop between the, the cup and the notebook. Okay, there is a laptop between the cup and the notebook. Very good. There's a pen on the notebook. Okay, yes, there is a pen on the notebook. Great. There's coffee inside the cup. There is okay, coffee in the, the cup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can say in cup, inside, or you say in the cup. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. What about the presents? What can you tell me about the black present? Black mm, present is in front of the orange one. Mm -hmm. Okay, the black present is in front of the. Is it orange or red? What do you think? <clears throat> no, I think the. <laughs> I said orange. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. It is red for me. I, I say it red, but it's okay if you say it's orange. Like this. I it's need not. glasses, that's for sure. <laughs> well, I use glasses, but anyway, how how good they are, I guess I need more or better glasses now. Okay. Um, what else can you tell me here? Any other sentence you can give me? Yes. Look at the end here of the picture. What else? There is a table behind the laptop. Okay. Yes. Um, there are some chairs here, right? There are some chairs. Yes. There are some chairs. Yeah, there are some um, chairs. Rebo. I don't, I don't remember very well how to say uh, como los colochos eso que tiene ribbon ribbon yeah ribbon mm -hmm. ribbon okay yeah. ribbon. it's like seen the ribbon okay there is some so, ribbon 
around, uh, eh, around, aquí podemos usar around, around. yes, around the box. Around sí significa alrededor, right? There is some ribbon around the presence. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's some ribbon around the presence. Yeah, very good. Now, so should, um, what about over? On top, on top. Aquí sería on or on top. Over is, for example, hmm, imagine there is a there is a fan here. And in what case can we use over? Aquí. My fan is like this. Right? So there is a fan over or above. In este caso sería above. Uh -huh. There is a fan above the presence. O sea, está arriba. No encima. Ya, yeah? está arriba. Entonces, en este caso sería above. There is a fan above the presence. Uh -huh. Over lo usaríamos más cuando está un puente. Uh -huh. Este es un puente. Y usted cruza sobre este puente. ¿Ya? Yeah? So you go over the bridge. En este caso usamos over. Ah, ok. Thank you. Yeah. So you say, I, you have to go, or you have to walk over the bridge. En este caso, ya. Yeah. Over. Ok. If no, you better say, <laughs> Voy fast and furious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fast and furious. Okay, so you say the coffee, there is a cup of coffee on top of the table, right? Or on the table. No sé, it's on the surface. Okay, any question here? Question, question? No, no more questions. Rina, no question? No, no. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now, what about these houses? What can you tell me here? We have a bench. This is a bench, right? Bench. Uh, bench is el, el, el banquito, right? A bench. We have a bicycle and a tree. Okay. So tell me first. How many windows, how many windows are there in each house? There are four windows. There are four windows in each house. Very good. Okay. How many doors are there in, in each house? Okay. How many doors? And there's one door. There is one door in each house. house. Yeah, very good. Okay, check. Este es el roof, la parte de afuera de la casa, roof, ya, yeah. roof. Por el lado de adentro, ceiling, right? Ceiling, y por el lado de afuera, roof. Debe, de, yeah. this is the roof. The rooftop. The roof, on top of the roof. For example, if I make here a cat. Oh, okay. I como que tiene Okay, this is a cat. Dámosle los bigotes. Pareja el gato del sombrero azul. Bye. Okay, this is a cat. The cat is on the roof. Where is the cat? Cat is on the roof. On the roof. No sé cómo se subió estando tan gordo. No. <laughs> so there is a cat on the roof, right? On the roof. Because it is afuera, right? On top of, on top of the roof. Now tell me, where is the bicycle? <clears throat> where is the bicycle? The bicycle is in front of the house. Exactly. The bicycle is in front of the house. And where is the bench? The bench is by the tree. Mm -hmm. 
or you can say in front of the tree in this case, right? Where okay. is the tree? <clears throat> Where is the tree? The tree is near to the house. Okay, it's near the house. Very good. Now, where are the chops? Where are the chops? Where are the chops? The what? The chops. There is a bookshop. A bookshop here. What is the bookshop? Ay, aquí estaba el gato, ve. Estás debajo del roof. Okay. Where is the bookshop? The bookshop. <clears throat> Where is the bookshop? Mm, uh, bookshop. The there is bookshop cross is the street. Okay, the bookshop is across the street. Good. Oh, behind the house. Oh, next to the house. Okay. Uh -huh. Where is the cat? Where is the cat? The cat is on the at roof. Door. Uh -huh. Here the cat is on, on the roof and the black cat. This black cat. Yo estaba viendo la, la otra picture. <laughs> sí, pero aquí hay otro gato. There is between between um, maceta o no sé cómo. <laughs> the flower. The flower pots, yeah, between the flower pots. Flower pot, F L O W E R space P O T. Flower pot. Yeah. Flower pot. Okay, the cat is between the flower pots, or we can say bushes. It's on arbustos, right? Bushes. B U S H E S. Bushes in medio de los arbustos, right? Okay. Um, what else can we say about the cat? <clears throat> the cat is in front of the door. Exactly, the, car, the cat is in front of the door, right? Okay. What can you see at the windows? A lot of books. There are a lot of books at the window. Yeah, at the window, see. At, like in exposition for people to see them. What else can you tell me inside the library? What, or oh, the books, the bookshop. What are there inside the bookshop? There are, there are many. Many bookcases. Mm -hmm. There are many bookcases and there are many books. How many lamps are there? How many lamps? <clears throat> How many lamps can you see? One, two, Five. three, four. There are three yes. lamps. There are three here and two here, right? So there are five lamps. Five in lamps. the library, in inside the library, right? Or inside the there library. Five, lamp, five lamps in the library. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Any other question here? Questions? There is a bench on the corner. There is a bench in the corner on the corner, yes. Mm -hmm. There is a bench on the corner. Okay. There's a mailbox too. In the corner. Uh huh. Exactly. A, a real mailbox, right? So on the corner, next to. Next to the bench. Mm -hmm. Next right? to the bench. Next to the bench. Okay. Right. By the window. Uh huh. And you see here, there are four balconies, right? There are four balconies. Okay. Well, now let's go to this. Making uh, today we are making a review of all the topics. Well, not all the topics, most of the topics, especially of the unit, right? This unit number four. And 
remember, and you have been doing it very well, as we use there is and there are, right? There is, there is an ATM across the street. Across, remember, we have the street. So the street is here and the ATM is here. So if I'm in this part, I have to cross the street to get to the ATM, right? Hi, teacher. Shake your microphone. Thank you, thank you. Se me cayó. Vamos, vamos peor. Va, okay. We were saying the I'm here, right? I'm here and the ATM is on the other side. So there is um, an ATM, remember, and porque ATM empieza con a vowel, right? So there is an ATM across the street. It's not in front, right? It's across the street because I have to cross the street to get there. Yes. Okay, there is a recruitment center on the corner. Then we get here. Right. And the recruitment center is right here. Right. There is a recruitment center on the corner of on the corner. Remember that we use on, on the corner when we are talking about something that is out, right? On the corner. Está en la esquina, pero afuera, right? En la calle. Mm -hmm. There is no, no clothing, no clothing factory. There is no clothing factory. What is something that you can say there is no in the place where I live or where I work. For example, here where I work, I can say, uh, where I live, I can say there is no, no school. Yeah, there is no school near here. There is a pharmacy. There are some pupuserias but there is no school, no hay ninguna escuela. So there is no, there is no, okay? Can you tell me something that there is no where you live? Can you make a sentence using there is no? What is something que usted dice no hay? No hay. Mm -hmm. Claro. ¿Qué es lo que no hay donde usted trabaja? Una, por ejemplo, en la zona franca de Olocuilta hay cancha de fútbol. Okay, there is a soccer field. Pero en zona franca Miramar no hay. Ok, ok. Vamos a escribir. So you say. There is. Vamos a mover esto un poquito. ¿A dónde sí y a dónde no? En zona, zona franca. Fran Polo Quilta. Polo Quilta. There is a soccer field, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That. Polo Quilta tiene una extra. <laughs> sí, ahorita volviendo. Que lo vi cae casi como que algo raro. Polo Quilta se hace verdad. Okay, so check. In Zona Franca o Lo Quilta, there is a soccer field. That, in Zona, Zona Franca, Franca, 
Ga Miramar. ¿Qué pasó? La desaparición completa. Ok, en zona franca, Miramar. Aquí media letra, media flechita, toca y lleva todo, ve. Miramar, Miramar junto, así. Sí, ¿verdad? Así. Uh -huh. En zonas franca, Miramar, coma. Uh -huh. Chequen una cosa. Cuando, ¿se acuerdan cuando estábamos hablando de las prepositions of place y prepositions of time? Sí. Vamos a borrar estas rayitas. ¿Se acuerdan? Sí, sí, ¿verdad? Bache. Cuando nosotros estamos usando, eh, por ejemplo, el lugar o, o tiempo va al final, ¿verdad? Pero si yo quiero ponerlo al principio, puedo. La única diferencia es que lo separo por cómo. ¿Sí? Entonces decimos en zona franca o lo oculta. ¿Por qué? Porque a lo que yo le quiero dar importancia, esa que en ese lugar sí hay y en el otro lugar no hay. Entonces, como le quiero dar así como un énfasis, entonces yo me concentro en que aquí sí, ¿verdad? Pongo primero el lugar en la coma y después hago el contraste con but. Aquí sí hay, pero aquí no hay. ¿Right? So, en zona franca o lo oculta, there is a soccer field. A uh, soccer field, yeah. But in zona franca, mira mar, there is no soccer field. Right? ¿Alguna pregunta respecto a esta oración? No. De lo contrario, nosotros podríamos decir, there is a soccer field in zona franca o lo cuesta, but there is no soccer field in zona franca, mira mar. ¿Ya? Pero no le estamos dando el mismo énfasis que le damos al poner la cara. Entonces, eh, desde el principio del curso hemos, ven, hemos, hemos venido diciendo el tiempo al final, ¿verdad? Hoy les digo el lugar también al final, a menos que usted le quiera dar más énfasis a esto. Y lo mismo sucede con el tiempo. Si usted le quiere dar más énfasis al tiempo, lo pone al principio y lo separa por coma. ¿Right? Por ejemplo, if you say, oh, Mondays, vamos a insertar texto acá. Oh, Mondays, recuerden los días de la semana con capital R, ¿verdad? Y cuando yo digo Mondays, y no solo Monday, es porque todos los lunes es siempre lo mismo. On Mondays, we play soccer in the soccer. No, verdad que no juegan soccer. We have, we have lunch, we have lunch at the restaurant near the office. Vamos a hacer blancos estos. Oh, ahí estamos. Check. On Mondays, we have lunch at the restaurant near the office. On Mondays, we have lunch at the restaurant near the office. Entonces, puedo poner el tiempo al final y diría, we have lunch at the restaurant near the office on Mondays. Pero si yo le quiero dar énfasis que yo como, ¿verdad? O nosotros vamos al restaurante, pero el lunes, o sea, no todos los días de la semana, solamente los lunes. Entonces, yo le quiero dar énfasis al tiempo este es el que voy a poner a principio. 
pero cuando haga eso tengo que separarlo por ¿cómo? si lo pongo al final no yes. Okay. now let's go to the plural right so you say there are a lot of companies down there are a lot of companies down the street down the street Ival Street, and there are a lot of companies here, right? There are a lot of companies all around. There are a lot of companies down the street. Yes? ¿Y se acuerdan? Ayer decíamos, there are some supermarkets on the right. There are some supermarkets on the right, si yo vengo de acá, que voy down the street, right? ¿Cuál es mi right? Este lado es right or left? Mm -hmm. So I'm going like that way. If you go down the street, this is your right. And this is the left. So there are some restaurants Oh, some supermarkets, ¿de dónde estoy viendo restauración? There are some supermarkets on the right, on the right, and on the left. Pero si yo voy para arriba, right, up the street, I go up, there are some restaurants or some supermarkets on the right and left, right? On the right and left. O sea, ahí va a depender de para dónde va usted, cuál es su derecha en ese momento y cuál es su izquierda en ese momento. ¿En qué dirección? ¿En qué dirección va? Ok, so you see, there are a lot of companies down the street and there are some supermarkets on the right and on the left, but there are no hospitals, right? There are no, there are no hospitals. There are no hospitals. Okay, I want you to see this. I'm going to add a page so we can make a couple of sentences here. Okay, check. What I want is that we make sentences using some and any, paying attention to this, okay? There are a lot, there are some, there are no, right? Remember yesterday, we were saying that we can say or we can use there is a, ah, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, si pe, ubiquémonos en un lugar en común que ustedes todos conocen. Plaza Mundo, soy pan. Everybody knows? Yes. Sí, ¿verdad? So we can say there are. Vamos a hacer más grande la letra. a lot of restaurants and cafes, right? There are a lot of restaurants and cafes inside the mall. Yeah, there are a lot of restaurants and cafes inside the mall. También outside, right? ¿Qué más hay enfrente o, o a los lados de Plaza Mundo? Mm -hmm. What can you tell me? 
Transportémonos hasta Soyapango, Plaza Mundo. El parking. Ok. There is Podera. There is si estamos hablando de todo. Del parque en general. There is. Ah, exactly. So you say there is a lot of parking o there are a lot of parking lots, right? Let's see, hay, hay mucho parqueo, pero hay muchos parqueos. O sea, se, en, en español suena lo mismo, ¿verdad? Pero en inglés, cuando yo digo parking, es el espacio para parquear. Hay mucho espacio para parquear. There is a lot of parking. Pero si yo hablo de los parqueos, que hay un parqueo, aquí hay otro, y otro, y otro, There are a lot of parking lots, right? There are a lot of parking lots. ¿Cuántos parqueos hay? Mm -hmm. no. Do you know? There are a lot of parking lots. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más hay alrededor? ¿O qué es lo que no hay? There is a KFC near, near to the... Ok, ajá, aquí en Top Key Restaurant. Ok. KFC. Uh -huh. Restaurant. Near, right? Yes. Near the mall. Perfect. Okay. What else? Um, la, there's a gas station. la terminal queda cerca. Yes. Yes. Yo tengo ratitos de no ir por ahí. No he visto la terminal como está. So you can But see. The trans bus station is near to Plaza Mundo. Okay. There is a bus station in front, right? Mm, not exactly in front, but but it's near. Mm, are you sure that it's not exactly in front? Yes, I'm sure. Not exactly in front. So we say near the moon. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que no hay? Is there a school? Is there a school near the mall or in front mm. of the mall? There mm -hmm. isn't. Okay, so we say there is no school in front of the mall. Right? There is no school in front of the mall. Any other example that you can give me? There is no hospital in front of, of the mall. Okay, there is no hospital around the mall. Okay. A lot of. There are no hospitals, lo vamos a poner en plural. There are no hospitals around the mall. Around the mall. Right. There are no hospitals around the mall. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other question here? ¿Qué hay across? What can you see across the mall? Across from the mall, there is a Walmart. Okay, there's, there is a supermarket, right? So we can say there is, there is a supermarket across from the mall. Okay, across from. There is a supermarket across from the mall. Okay, now repeat after me. There are a lot of restaurants and cafes inside the mall. 
There are a lot of restaurants and cafes inside the mall. There are a lot of restaurants and cafes inside the mall. Mm, there are a lot of restaurants and cafes inside the mall. Okay, there are a lot of restaurants and cafes inside the mall. There are a lot of restaurants and cafes inside the mall. There are some parking lots. There are some parking lots. There are, there are, some, there are parking some parking lots. There are some lots. parking lots. Yeah, there are there some, some parking lots. lots. There is a KFC restaurant near the mall. There is there is a KFC restaurant near the mall. There is a KFC restaurant near the mall. KFC restaurant near the mall. There is a bus station near the mall. There is a bus station near the mall. There is no school in front of the mall. There is no school in front of the mall. There is no school in front of the mall. There is no school in front of the mall. There is no school in front of the mall. There is no school in front of the mall. There are no hospitals around 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 the mall. There is a supermarket across from the mall. There is a supermarket across from the mall. There is a restaurant. There is a supermarket across from the mall. There is a supermarket across from the mall. Teacher, but is across from or across front? Across from, across from, a in front of. In front, okay. Mm -hmm. In front of, y across from. Across from. Al in front of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Across from, in front of. Yeah. Okay, any questions here? Questions? Questions, questions? No more questions. Okay. Did you copy the sentences? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now, let's see. Here, you're going to go in and work in pairs. Look at the map. Háganle la capturita, right? la capturita. So you're going to work here. Look at the map and complete the sentences with the correct preposition, okay? So you have okay. the bank, the sports palace, the school, the moon, the restaurant, arrows company, the big world, the city hall, the church. Háganle la captura, get ready. And in pairs, you're going to complete the sentences using the correct preposition. Are you ready? Ya lo capturaron? Yes. Not yet. Yeah. Okay. And then it'll capture, so I send you to the homes to work. Can you take the picture and send it to the WhatsApp group? Okay. I, I will send a picture right now. Okay, perfect. Let's see how big it looks. Okay, perfect, perfect. You can see very well, right? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nice. The nice. uh, mention, buddy. <laughs> okay, perfect. Vaya, what you're going to do now, I'm going to send you to the rooms, right? Let's see, we're going to 
Okay, I'm going to send you to the rooms. We have a couple of minutes there, and then we will come and check together. Okay. Ready? It is been fun. Shulma, Shulma, Shulma. Shulma, Shulma, Shulma. Shulma, Shulma, Shulma. Mañana, valga el comercial, mañana no me vayan a faltar, oye, porque es el último día y tenemos que llenar la carta de satisfacción acá en vivo. ¿Sí? Así es que mañana no falta, es bien importante que estén todos mañana. Ok, there we go. Ahorita mismo nos mando a los rooms for you to complete the sentences. There you go. Rafael, cheque a ver si se logra unir al grupo. Y Salvador también. Hola, nena. Mira, dice, yo aquí haciendo tareas con ellos también. Me imagino, hoy temprano le llamé a mis niños y estaba ayudándoles también a coordinar unas tareas. Pero aquí la tengo recortando. Toca. Vaya, qué bueno. Este, ok, ¿qué veamos. Vamos a hacer? Ok, eh, en la imagen que mandaron, ahí podemos ver eh, que te, tenemos que rellenar esa parte con las preposiciones correctas. Entonces, por ejemplo, en la primera tenemos The bank is from the mall. From the mall. Entonces, como, ajá, como una opción, eh, podemos ver el, el mapa y ahí vemos el banco está en la esquina y el mall está a la par. Entonces, eh, no. vamos a ver. No, no, no. You have to choose the right the bank is what is the right preposition to complete the sentence, right? Correct. Now, there is actually, I can see more than one option be here because we can say uh, the bank is in front of the mall. Mm. Or, the, the, or no, let's gonna say the bank is um, across the mall. Across from the mall, yeah. Across of the mall. Or the bank is um, from the mall. No, but well, I don't know if we can change the the the. the. Um. Well, I'm giving you the 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 whole the whole sentence just for you to choose the preposition that goes with this. If I only tell you where is the bank, you can tell me many options, right? You have any options. But as what mm -hmm. you're going to do is complete the sentence the, the way it is given, you have to decide mm -hmm. on which is the best preposition to complete the sentence. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Now, um, I know that we uh, are not seeing other options, like for example, saying the bank is on the left side uh, from the mall is another way to say it, or is, it is more specific uh, at saying across the, the mall? But in that case, it should be on the left of the mall, pero lo ata la left. palabra from. From. Okay, so on this case on is, is the conditional from the one that is specific to us saying that we need to specify that the bank is across 
from the mall. From the mall, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Y ahí todas las palabras que están alrededor son las que lo atan a una sola respuesta. A una sola respuesta. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Great. We can work with that. Yeah. Okay. So, well, Rina, uh, what about the park? La otra, the church. The church is the church. The school. I think that is the church is past the school. Past. Past. Mm -hmm. Ah, pasando de la escuela. Uh -huh. Past the school. Past the school. Okay. What do you think about it, teacher? Are we okay? Yes. Yes, yes right. Okay. Okay, thank you. And what about the the third one? And the city hall is by the church. Can we use that or next to? What is the city hall? It's in the in, in the low, the lowest part. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you, you put it, you see the, the city hall and the church. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es la, la mejor preposición para usar en ese caso? I think that is by the church, because there is a, a little street between. That is like maybe the parking lot or something. It's not a big space. So you can say next to in that case. OK. Mm -hmm. Next to, really. Next. Yeah, in that case, you can say next. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. No, porque está cruzando la calle, no puede ser next, next to, ¿no? Oh, ajá. En frente. In front, in front, ajá. In front, ajá. Is in front the shop, the school. <laughs> in front of the school. Teacher. Eh, el, el, uh, el, 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 por el book one. Which one? La intersección, ¿cómo sería? Yo lo dejé en the corner. The book word is in the corner. On the corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the mm -hmm. corner. But you can on the corner. Yeah. On the corner also. Or in the intersection. In the mm -hmm. You can in say on the, the corner of or in the intersection of. Uh -huh. okay, right. Thank you. Hi, hi, ¿cómo vamos? Tratando de irme. Okay, any questions? Yeah. Eso es el 
The bar is. Is across. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Park. Pero le doy. Park. Le doy el nombre de una calle. Second Avenue o Avenida. Que usamos cuando tenemos una avenida. Is from. The party is from Second Avenue. Ajá, ¿qué dice Daisy? Sería on. The on. Party is on Second Avenue, yes. Cuando usamos los nombres de, de las calles o las avenidas, vamos a usar on. On. Sobre. Exactly. So you say the, uh, the park is on Second Avenue. Second Avenue. The city hall is. La city Sería, ay, se me olvidó. A la par. Ajá, ¿cómo se dice a la par? Checa notitas de ayer. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you say the city hall is next to the church. Next to the church, right? The city hall is next to the church. Nice. Las otras dos ya las hicieron. Sí. Sí. En la primera le vemos puesto. The book wall is at the corner of Second Avenue and Winter Street. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. En la segunda, the church is past the school. Past the school, perfect. Okay, me voy a llamarlos. Wait. Okay. Para el otro módulo cambian de, de pucho. Fíjese que creo que sí. No, no, no sabemos todavía. Te deja adelante con todo. <ríe> A dar el máximo, el máximo. Ok, ¿quiénes nos faltan? Room 1 and Room 2 no han vuelto. I'm going to call attendance right now. Vamos a solo a esperar que terminen de volver todos. Vamos a verlo. Carolina. Present. 
आणि Number one, the book world is the book world is between of Second Avenue and Roosevelt Street. Mm. Are you sure? We have Second Avenue and we have Roosevelt. If the book world is here. Uh -huh, exactly. On the corner. Really? Es el esquina. Okay. Aquí podemos decir, eh, tienen dos opciones. Una, decir on the corner of, que aquí es donde se forma la esquina, on the corner of Second Avenue and Roosevelt Street, o decir in the intersection of Second Avenue and Roosevelt Street, right on the corner. Corner. Okay, what about the church? The church is? Past the school. Past the school, yeah. The church is past, past the school. Where is the bank? The bank is across from the mall. I have one question um, on the on on the second one. The church. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the difference when we refer to is next to? Cuando está a la par. Pero no puedes decir que está a la par si tiene que cruzar una calle para el otro lugar. Y across them? Across from tiene que cruzar. En este caso podría decir the church is across from the school would be perfect. 
Y podría ser un so, son. No, porque tiene que cruzar una calle. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Aunque en el manual, en uno de los ejemplos, ellos aceptaron eh, que el mall es uh, in front of the bank. Podría, right? Uh -huh. Podría, por motivo de que en el examen se lo pueden dar como opción que ponga in front en vez de across from. ¿Sí? Pero eh, no podemos poner next to en este caso porque no está a la par. Yeah. Es tiene que cruzar la calle, entonces ya al, al tener que cruzar la calle ya no está a la par. Por ejemplo, el City Hall and the Church, podemos decir, sí, the church is next to the city hall. Problem. Right? Está a la par, pero en este caso que hay que cruzar la calle, ya no puedo decir que está a la par. So, on, on this case, uh, for example, if we, if, if we say that the church is past the school, is because the school is on the left side of the church. Independent. Uh, that's why we we say that. No, because or, you're, it, because you're coming mm -hmm. here. Because you're coming. Como usted viene caminando de acá o viene en el carro, entonces le pregunta, mm -hmm. hey, where is the church? Ah, it is past the school. Pero usted viene de camino. Okay. Entonces, tiene que pasar o, o le da la dirección a alguien. Where is the church? Ah, the church is past the school. O sea, pasa a la escuela y llega a la, pasa a la escuela y llega a la iglesia. Right? Entonces, en este en ese contexto en que puede usar past. Okay, Pero, so but on on that context we know that we are let's like, gonna say we are walking uh, in the Second Avenue. So uh -huh. in that case, we know that we're going to uh, pass the, the, the school to, to, to find the church. Exactly. Okay. And on the case on the bank, if you we say that it's across the mall? It's from a, the mall? Across from the mall. Yeah. The bank is across from the mall. Que on that case, it's because we are using the mall as a point of reference. Exactly. Exactly. To say that we need to, to, to you cross, need to, cross to, to, to get to the other side. Mm -hmm. So you say the bank is mm. from the moon. Yeah. Now, and even the case if we are, um, I'm, let's gonna say that we, on this same scenario, like we know that uh, between the church past the school because we are walking through the, the, the second it's avenue. On this street, yeah. But what about if so something comes the other from side. the from the other side that's right if you're coming here you can say that church is before the school before before the school before. okay oh past okay the um i'm past the the city hall mm -hmm. past the city hall or before the school mm -hmm. before the school remember okay. that we use uh, when we're giving an address we use a re as a reference the place that you are supposed to know. Entonces, supongamos que usted conoce right. la escuela, right? So mm -hmm. if you know the school, then I tell you, okay, the church is before the school, pero yo vengo de aquí arriba. Yeah, I go down the second avenue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you say, well, okay. the church is before the school. But if okay. I'm going up second avenue, you say the church is past the school. It's past the school, okay. And is the same case with the bank is across from the mall. Exactly. Uh, uh, that's one option, but it depends for where we coming or where the person is, is mm, coming. In case, no, porque como el mall no se va a mover. En este caso, porque usted se va moviendo. O en qué dirección va caminando, va para allá, va para allá. Pero en el Correct. caso del bank y el mall, no, porque el mall está allí y no se mueve. Entonces, siempre va a estar al cruzar la calle. Right? Okay, across from the mall. And, in, and, and the option for in front, we can use that because uh, 
in, in front case. of the mall, let's gonna say it that it, in this case is the park in front of the mall. Uh -huh, exactly. The park is in front of the mall. But imagine, mm. le pongamos el panorama. Que en el examen, usted tiene la opción de eh, in front of, next to, o behind. Mm -hmm. La mejor opción para usted sería mm -hmm. in front of. ¿Verdad? The bank is in front of the mall. Pero si le dan la opción mm -hmm. de across from, next to, behind, es across from. Porque tiene que cruzar. Uh -huh. Entonces, en este caso, podríamos usar in front of si no le dan otra opción que pegue, ¿verdad? Pero podemos decir el de banque está enfrente del mall o al cruzar la calle. Entonces, de, si decimos uh -huh. al cruzar la calle es como un poquito más, más acertado porque tiene que cruzar para llegar al otro lado. Right? Uh -huh. Okay, mm -hmm. teacher, but in the case of the park and the mall, between uh -huh. of them, there's a uh, street too. Exactly. There's an avenue. Uh -huh. yeah. Exactly. Entonces, por eso le digo, si se le diera, o sea, nosotros en español no decimos eh, está al otro lado de la calle, decimos está enfrente, right? Mm -hmm. Aunque tengamos que cruzar la calle. Entonces, sí se puede usar. Sí se puede usar. Aunque por el hecho de que tiene que cruzar, lo más acertado sería usar a cross from. Pero si usted le dice a alguien, ah, the mall is, it's in front of the park, le va a comprender la dirección muy bien y no hay, no hay problema. ¿Sí? Pero en este caso, decir next to, sí, definitivamente no. ¿Verdad? Next to no. En next to podría ser en este caso. ¿verdad? One is next to the other. The church is next to the city hall. Y podría decir the church is between the school and the city hall. Right? Okay. Pero no puedo decir que está next to it. The church is next to the school. The church is across from the school or past the school. The, lo único que pueden usar en vez de across from podría ser in front of. Any other question there? Mm. Tell me the Just checking. Um, on the case that this is uh, an example that we're going to see, if, if we see it in the ex, ex, in the ex, uh, in the exam. In the exam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, la palabra We're gonna have one. Exam. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, uh, we're gonna have one croc is like this to have the, the point of reference. About I, imagine, I imagine so. I imagine so. <laughs> Checking. All right. ¿Cuál es? Eh, ¿Por qué no puede decir aquí in front of? Porque yo ya le di el from y ya lo até. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Entonces, yo ya lo até a que me diga across from. Entonces no me puede decir usted de bank is in front of the mall. Le tiene que right. poner atención aún a todos esos detallitos. Si ya le dan como parte de la preposition, tiene que tener mucho cuidado de qué es lo que falta de esa preposición para completar. Y otra cosa, fíjense que un error bien común cuando usamos esas preposiciones es que tendemos a ponerle off a todo. Next to off, pero no, ¿verdad? No lleva off. In front, off, sí ya lleva el off. On the corner off, también. Pero no puedo decir across from the off, from off, no, 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 ¿verdad? Y la, la que más comúnmente se nos pega el off es en next to, next to off the church. Next to the church. Porque next to ya es a la par de, ya lleva el de en la traducción, a la par de. Entonces en este caso decidimos ir como next. Uy, dejé muy chiquito el espacio acá. Next to. 
¿sí? Ajá. Mi preposición es next to y ya no le puedo poner off, right? Next to the church. Mm -hmm. So be very careful with that too. What about the park? What is the park? Aquí yo los he atado a una sola respuesta también, porque les doy second avenue. Entonces ya no me puede decir in front, porque ¿cuál es la preposición que usamos con calles y avenidas? On. 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 Exactly. So we say the park is on. On Second Avenue. Mm -hmm. Avenue. The park is on Second Avenue. Yeah. Ya ahí no hay forma de dar otra razón. En el caso de church and schools, si me puede decir the church is past the school, the church is across from the school. Across from, tell me the name. For the one that the park is on the second avenue, mm -hmm. um, it's possible to say it on some context along the second avenue? In este caso del parque, sí, porque es bien largo. Okay? Mm -hmm. Pero en el caso de Sport Palace y Arrows Company, no. Porque es Because un... they are just a small. Uh -huh. But in the case of the park, mm -hmm. yes, we can say it because it is very long. So you can say the park is along Second Avenue. So, a lo largo de la segunda, right? So it's very mm -hmm. long. In that case, yes. Yeah, because that's actually the one that I use that's in that it. case. I... Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. sure. You can say mm -hmm. along, along the Second Avenue. Yeah. Okay. Okay. In that great. case, yes, because the park is. Huge, like a uh, parque mm -hmm. de la colonia Miramonte, right? That is very big. It's a very big park and takes a very long space of the street. Then in that case, yes, you can say it. They see any question? No question, no question. Okay. Anybody else? Nos vamos a la otra paginita. Yes. That's it. No, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go then. Oh, estamos analizando todavía. Okay, check here. Let's go there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, look at the map. And look at this. We are going to read Mauricio Quintanilla. So you have name of the employee, Mauricio Quintanilla, main office 72039164, workplace, Arrows Technology Company on Roosevelt Street and First Avenue, number 853 Santa Cecilia San Salvador. Job position, software designer, department production. No San Salvador, but the department where he works. Mm -hmm. And the ID number of the person. Vámonos al manual, please. This is on your manual, page 45. Page 45. And look at the instructions there. Mm -hmm. Ready, everybody on the manual? Now, it says so, read again the employee's information and circle which of the alternate directions below is the correct one. See? And you have some directions there. Let's read the information again. Mauricio Quintanilla, 
office main phone 7203-9164, workplace Arrows Technology Company, address on Roosevelt Street and First Avenue, a number 853 Santa Cecilia San Salvador, job position software a designer, department production, and ID number MQ108359. Okay, that's the information about Mavis Bonilla. No, Quintanilla. Ya le cambié el nombre. Okay, check the instructions. We already read the employee's information, and then we're going to look at the map, right? This map on page 39, the map que estábamos viendo, right? And it says, which of the alternate directions below is the correct one according to this map, right? So look at the map. Look at the direction, Roosevelt Street and First Avenue, number A53, Santa Cecilia, San Salvador, right? And it says, which is the correct or the alternate direction for this address, right? Number one, it is located in front of the mall on First Avenue. Number two, it is located across First Avenue behind the restaurant. Number three, it is located on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and the book world. Number four, it is located around, along Roosevelt Street next to the city hall and the park. Uh -huh. Roosevelt Street and First Avenue, 853 Santa Cecilia San Salvador. So what is it? Look at the map and choose the best direction, right? I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to analyze and check which is the best alternate direction. Eh, cuando decimos alternate direction es porque lo que hemos estado hablando estos días. Damos la dirección, damos el nombre de la calle, el número y todo, pero al final, ajá, pero ¿por dónde? Right? Where exactly that I don't know how to get there. And then we give an, an alternate direction, which is the best one. Ahí tienen las alternate direction, page 45. Right, page 45, pay attention to that as you look at the map here. Number three. Mm -hmm. I think there is a number three, teacher. Number three? It's located on Roosevelt Street mm -hmm. between the restaurant and book world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you see? Roosevelt Street and Fresh Avenue, Santa Cecilia, San Salvador. Okay. Fresh Avenue. Okay. So the best direction is number three. All of you agree with that? Yes. Okay. Great. Um, yeah. Okay, yes, number three. It is located on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and world. Okay. Now, what you're going to do now, right now, is to complete this information. So you complete it about someone else. You have the name the office main phone, the workplace, the job position, the department, the address, an ID number, si no tienen ID number, no quiere dar su ID number, se lo puede inventar, okay? And then we are going to share with the others and give an alternate direction. 
For example, if you say, well, eh, this is first the address, right? La dirección normal con el, el número, eh, la calle o avenida y todo el número de, 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 del edificio o casa, right? Y luego vamos a decir una alternate direction, ¿ok? Ready, ready. Si no quiere hacerlo de su casa, puede utilizar el mapa que tenemos acá. Yes. For security, I know. Yeah, you can use uh, this map. And you say, okay, aquí no está una church. It's my company here, right? And you put your company here. And later on, you tell us where it is. No, aquí no queda una escuela. It's my workplace. So you can take this map and locate your workplace here. Okay, les dejo esa opción para que eh, no compartan su dirección real, right? For security. Okay, so the map is on page 39. You can go uh, change the, the place that you want to put your job over there. Teacher, sorry, and yeah. we have to use our own information uh, or for the other person. Okay, you can use part of part of your information and part of the information you can change. Por cuestiones de seguridad, no le voy a decir si mire un cupe todo exactamente su información. Son libres de cambiar la información y hacer un, un employee's information kind of ficticio y medio real, right? Por cuestiones de seguridad. El teacher le decía porque estaba leyendo, dice, en el encabezado del ejercicio. About someone else. Follow an employee's information about someone yeah. else. Yes. Mm -hmm. Someone else, no este chico que estaba acá. Otro. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Pero por hoy les digo, pueden usar parte de información suya, parte de información inventada por seguridad, podemos usar la dirección del mapa. Right? Okay, okay. Como recuerden que esto va a YouTube, ¿verdad? Pues ahí pueden ustedes tomar sus, 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 sus medidas y, y completar. Si no quiere poner su dirección exacta, puede hacerle cambios y usar la dirección del mapa. Ok, teacher, thank you. Igual con el main phone number, ¿verdad? Cámbiele, no ponga su número exacto, cámbiele, o sea, You don't need to give your, your complete and real information.
teacher, una pregunta. Tell me. Eh, eh, digamos, si trabajara en la, el mundo del libro, algún puesto. Puede Libra ser como... La, la, librarian. Librarian. Ok, gracias. Ah, librarian. Lo que ustedes pueden hacer es usar parte, su, su job position, el department que sí sea el suyo y cambiar la dirección del lugar de trabajo. No decir exactamente dónde está, sino que pueden dar una de la dirección del mapa. Right? Así no se complican tanto. Pero si quiere poner de, del mundo del libro, la dirección es library. Porque recuerden que todo lo vamos apegando a, a nuestro lugar de trabajo, ¿verdad? Pero eh, por cuestiones de seguridad es que les digo yo que no pongan exactamente. Sure. So, tell me, Salvador. En mi caso, para poner jefe de contabilidad, asumo que es accountant boss. Accounting would be like a manager. Huh? Accounting manager o in charge of the accounting department. Usted es el que está a cargo, right? Eh, sí, del departamento. Okay, so you say uh, in charge of the accounting department. Apartment, accounting department, right? Your position, accountant. Aquí le pone accountant. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Position. Y en el department, accounting department. Ok. Ready. Ok. Ready, ready. What about the others? Are you ready to share? Le preguntaba a Salvador si no sería como, como, como gerente financiero. Y lo que pasa es que el gerente financiero está arriba del jefe de contabilidad. El gerente financiero ve toda la parte financiera de la empresa, mientras que el jefe de contabilidad solamente tiene a cargo el departamento contable. Ah, ok, ok. Shape account. Shape account. Pero, a chief, ajá, es chief, chief account. Yeah, listen. Chief accountant. Chief accountant. Chief. Chief. Chief accountant. Mm -hmm. Chief accountant. Chief accountant. Yeah. ¿En qué caso utilizaríamos voz entonces? El voz es más que todo cuando es solamente jefe. No dice jefe en qué o en qué. For example, if you say, well, I am the boss. Es un generalizado, entonces. Ajá, exacto, en general. I am the boss. O I am, ajá, the boss, no a boss, right? I am the boss. So, yo soy el jefe. Ok. Yo digo eso y me quita. <laughs> Por lo menos puede decir que es el jefe. 
Okay, let's see. How are you doing? Are you ready, ready to share? Volunteers. Ya terminé, teacher. Excellent, Lacey. Okay, vamos a ver who wants to be the first volunteer to chair. Voluntarios. Yo. Okay, excellent. Go ahead. Okay, sería name, date, and escrita. Eh, office, my phone, sería eh, seven, nine, six, two, eh, Work one, uh, five, nine. Workplace sería book work. And job position sería uh, librarian. Librarian. Mm -hmm. Librarian. librarian. Uh, department, Sonsonate. Okay. El department, pongámosle eh, en qué departamento trabaja. Por ejemplo, Salvador trabaja en el ah. el department. Entonces, ¿es de librería? Vamos a ver qué departamento le podemos poner. Sales room. Ah, de sales room. Uh -huh. Sales. That's okay. Sales. Sales. Oh. Ok, eh, sería address on Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue, number eh, 252, son sonate, son sonate. Ok. Aquí sería DM152496. Ok, perfecto. What will be an alternative, an alternative address? Sería um, across Fruitvale Street and Second Avenue. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Daisy. Now it's your turn to choose the next one. Who's next? ¿Quién es el próximo, Daisy? Te vamos a dar el derecho de escoger al próximo. Veamos. René. René. Ok. So, my name is René Guardado. Number 7203964. It's not the real one. <laughs> Um, I my workplace is teleperformance. The address I'm not quite sure the complete address, but I remember there is on Olympica Avenue, uh, the number three hundred fifty-six. If I don't get wrong, is on San Salvador. Is close to the to El Salvador del Mundo. Um. My job is on mission control. The department is WFM. And the ID number is 758362. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Rene. Who's next, Rene? Who will be next? Okay. Let's see. 
¿Quién se está escondiendo? Hay varios que están escondiendo allá los que tenga la cámara cerrada. ¿no? Ah. Ay, Rina. <risa> Ay, lo que a Rafael solo le da risa. Ok. Uh -huh. <risa> y Rina. Y el sorry, no lo ha completado. <risa> Tell me what you have. Lo que tenga, vaya, lo que tenga. Pues le damos un minuto. Verdad. Que pase alguien más y después ella va. Exactly, exactly. Vaya, who will be the next one? ¿Quién se sacrifica? Claudia la veo con ganas de. Okay. Ella, ella tiene ganas de compartir con nosotros. Sí, ya chévere. la vi. Claudia veo que está con. Ah, Claudia, se agachó como dos veces, pero. Claudia se sacrifica. <risa> Qué malo. <risa> ok. Gracias. Okay. Name, Claudia Carolina Díaz. Main com, 7590-0340. Workplace, Zona Franca Miramar. Ya position, Administrative Assistant. Department Administrative. Mm, address y ¿cómo se dice kilómetro? Kilómetro. 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 Yeah, kilómetro. En este caso, en dirección, los, eh, por ejemplo, los números. 500. Ajá, ahí puedes los entero. 530, por ejemplo. Número uh, 11. 30 y medio. Terry and a half. Terry and a half. And a half. Seri and a half. Autopista Comalapa. Zona Franca Miramar. ID 201590. Can you give us an alternative address? Lo que siempre le piden cuando le van a mandar algo eh, a su casa, ¿verdad? Que va a llegar el, el Uber o el Hugo, siempre le dicen, ah, como por dónde, right? What would be the alternative address? Pero de aquí solo está cerca las pupuserías de Holocuilda. Ok, then you can tell me near the pupuserías o Holocuilda. ¿Ya? Ok, sí. Ok. Ok. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you very much. Ok, Rina, are you ready now? Yes, yes. Ok. Y todos abrieron la cámara, yo sí. <laughs> okay. Okay. My name is Rina Aura Espinosa. Uh, my, my phone seven four seven zero seven two seven nine. Workplace pharmacy. John position. No puse nada, no entendí ahí, teacher. Pues, ¿Cuál es el, el trabajo que desempeñas? Um, Secretary, assistant, eh, reception. Y es, sería lo mismo con depart, departamento. El departamento es, por ejemplo, si está en customer service, sales, accounting. Um, Ok, sería. Um, no sé si es lo mismo, Sales Room, eh, sobre atención al cliente. Ah, Customer Service. Customer. Ajá, vaya, porque es la misma área, o sea, el departamento sería lo mismo. Ok, Customer Service. Uh -huh. 
Yes. Sí, con la dirección, yo solo le he puesto son Sonate Barrio El Ángel, porque no me puedo exactamente las calles ni la avenida. Exactly, very easy. So that's why we are giving the alternative uh, address. What will be the alternate address? Across from, next to, near, in front of. Um, Sería, mm, eh, sería escribir in front, in front of uh, Centro Escolar Tercer Ciclo Thomas Jefferson. Ok, excelente. ID uh -huh. 0435819972. Excelente. Thank you, Rina. Thank you very much. Now tell me, who is the next one? Who will be next? Rina, Rina. Aproveche de vengarse. Escoja a quien sigue. <laughs> no sé quien falta. <laughs> Ooh, don't. Um, Salvador. Okay. Lo siento, pero es que me sale enfrente aquí. Yo le iba a decir porque agarra siempre que tiene primero. Yo siento que es el racismo. No, no. Es broma. Es el momento de la revenge, right? <risa> okay. Lo que pasa es que Rafael se sale y se vuelve a meter para estar de último en la cámara. Ya lo vi. <risa> Buena técnica. <risa> ya está dicho que él va después. Ya está dicho, él va después, Ticho. He was chosen already, okay. Ya le tocó. Ok. Salvador, go ahead. Employees information. Name Salvador Villanueva. Uh, main phone 7985232525. Workplace Mobi Plus es A. Es A. De, bueno, aquí en esta parte, no sé si se pronuncia en español. Es ADCB. Ya. Yeah. Ok, Mobi Plus es ADCB. Job position, chief accountant, department accounting. Address, eh, aquí sí lo puse resumido porque no, no es ni la dirección de mi trabajo ni la de mi casa. Ok. On the Golden Road, kilometer, kilometer eh, 13, ¿cómo se dice? 13. Pero en 13. La, en la, fíjense que una situación. Aquí en cuestión de la dirección, a menos que estén utilizando la del mapa, la vamos a poner en inglés. Si es, la de, eh, si es una dirección real, real de acá, nuestra, la vamos a poner en español porque las direcciones no las podemos traducir. ¿Qué sucede? Por ejemplo, si yo le doy a alguien la dirección en, en inglés, se va a perder, ¿verdad? Se va a perder, no va a lograr llegar porque cuando venga a buscar el nombre de los lugares en inglés, no van a estar, no van a estar en inglés, ah, van a estar en español. Entonces la, la dirección la podemos dejar así en español. Entonces quedaría donde carretera de oro. De oro, uh -huh. carretera de oro. Sí, porque okay. si va a buscar la Golden Road, no la vaya. A Golden Street, ¿verdad? Ajá. <risa> Así que vamos a dejar carretera de hora. Okay. What would be an alternative address there? Ahí sí, a metro no, no me acordaba de eso. <laughs> Across from, near, past, next to, across from, in front of. La <laughs> Um... Near EPA, near Plaza Mundo, near. Um, the, the, the near. Uh, the bus. Unicentro. Soy Altavista. Okay. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Salvador. Salvador, who is next? <laughs> Rafael. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rafael. <laughs> Salvador ha hablado. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you. May, uh, May, Rafael Barriento, uh, phone 5555-1234. Workplace, hardware tool, job position, CSIT, department, information technology, address on the barrier street on Fifth Avenue between bank and school. ID IT six five four three two one. Okay, perfect. Thank you. We have time for one more. Rafael, who will be that one? Uh, me imagino a quién va a escoger, pero tell me. <laughs> sí, me ha pasado ella. <laughs> María Elena. Y qué bien mal. Siempre voy a amar y el lindo. Malo. Es la primera vez. Name, María Castaneda. Office, main phone. 7798. Workplace, hardware store. Job position, lawyer and notary, department legal, Andres on Carretera Panamericana, número o number 20, Santa Ana, y el M0123. Ok, an alternative address. And next to, no recuerdo cómo se dice terminal. The bus station. Next to the bus station. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, next to the bus station. Okay, great. Excellent. Any questions over there? Preguntas, preguntas. No questions. Vamos a ver. Attendance time. Claudia Carolina. Present. Great. Claudia Xiomara. Daniel Antonio. ¿Sabe qué le pasó a Daniel? Daisy Mesquita. Present. Great. Diego Armando. Present. Ok. Jonathan. Mark Jonathan. José Ernesto. No día. María Elena. Present. Great. Marlon. Nelson Alberto. Nelson, you're here today. Rafael. Thank you. Great. Rina Aura. Present. Excellent. Salvador Antonio. Present, teacher. Okay. Zulma. René. Present. Okay, perfect. Now let's see quién se queda conmigo hoy. Ya les digo. Es que en verdad, Daniel, <laughs> no está Daniel. Okay. Bueno, see you then. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. Recuerden, si pueden pasar durante el transcurso del día trabajando 
y completando lo que tienen pendiente de la plataforma, perfecto, ¿verdad? Porque eh, para mañana, medianoche, la plataforma tiene que estar completa para que el sábado yo pueda reportar esas notas, ¿ok? Así es que a echar el arte, ¿verdad? Ahí en la plataforma. ¿Alguna preguntita? ¿No? ¿Qué examen? ¿Vamos a tener examen al final? En la plataforma, eh. sí. En la plataforma, ¿se acuerdan que hicieron un examen de medio curso, verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. También ahí está un examen final. Entonces, ahí vayan viendo si van completando ya las tareas de, de cada uno de los días de la semana y también el examen final. Dígame. Eh, ahora, ahora me pareció ver en la tarea algo que se refería a neutral. No me recuerdo el otro. No sé si yo me había equivocado. Pero como que ese tema todavía no lo hemos tocado. ¿no? El neutral es, el, por ejemplo, el it. Cuando usamos it, es algo neutral. No, tenía, tenía como unas palabras. Ah, eh, ah, es, sí, eso estoy viendo ahorita. Pensé que yo estaba viendo algo mal, pero ajá, ajá. Eh, digamos en la, la tarea, tarea número 19 era. sale... Eh, los adjetivos de huge, illuminated, smelly, comfortable, mm -hmm. disgusting. Entonces Ay, nos piden que decir si, si son negativos, okay. positivos o okay. neutrales. Okay. Esa es la tarea que estoy viendo. Vaya, esa tarea no la hagan hoy, entonces la vamos a hacer mañana después de clase. Y les explico por qué. Uh -huh. Porque la clase de mañana es justo donde vamos a estudiar los adjectives. ¿Sí? Entonces, en la clase de mañana es donde vienen los adjectives, que es la página, ya les comento. 44. 44, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí, donde estamos hablando de los adjectives before now, comfortable, huge, nice, illuminated. Están positive adjectives, comfortable, huge, nice, illuminated. Y negative, narrow, que es estrecho. ¿Verdad? Small. Small lo relacionamos con algo negativo porque no queremos una oficina pequeña, una casa pequeña. ¿verdad? Disgusting es eh, desagradable, right? Por eso es negativo. Y smelly es cuando se huele mal, right? Smelly. Like smelly. Like smelly. Mm -hmm, that's smelly. <laughs> comfortable. Okay. ¿Qué es comfortable? Cómodo. Right, that's comfortable. Huge. Comfortable. Mm -hmm. Huge is very big. Very big. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very big. Illuminated is iluminado. Illuminado. Mm -hmm. Entonces, ese eh, quizá lo dejamos para mañana, a menos que ustedes le den una revisadita a esta página, número 44. ¿Verdad? Porque. Ese tema justo está asignado para el día de mañana. Ya el último. El último, exacto. exacto. Ok. Uh -huh. okay. Ya, ¿Alguna, ¿Alguna otra preguntita? No, we are good. I think that we are good. Okay. Entonces nos quedamos... Eh, Mañana terminamos con ese tema, ¿verdad? Y ahí pueden pasar, dar una revisadita a los, a los videos si necesitan. Y si tienen alguna pregunta, pues escríbanme. Yo vivo con mi celular en la mano. Así es que no se preocupen de que, uy, pues vamos a, a molestar a la teacher porque siempre ando pendiente, ¿verdad? El celular. Otra cosa, en cuanto al, a la lo que vamos a completar mañana de la carta de satisfacción recuerden que esa carta es un requisito muy importante para que usted se pueda inscribir en el siguiente nivel entonces por eso es que es muy importante completarla y completarla correctamente el día de mañana vamos a tener el tiempo dentro de clase ¿verdad? No, las instrucciones que se dieron fue 
eh, no la complete solita, ¿verdad? sino que la vamos a ir completando así bien de la manita juntos mañana. ¿verdad? Entonces aquí van a tener su tiempo en, en la hora de clase para que lo podamos completar. Hoy. Ok, teacher. Right. Bueno, okay. see you tomorrow then. Sí. Bye. 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 Bye.